afternoon baseball here on the show. Today we've got a good matchup in store between the Chicago Cubs and the Milwaukee Brewers. Digging in next will be Chris Bryant, and we are ready for some daytime baseball. Taken, but called for strike two on the outer part of the zone. All in all, a great afternoon for baseball. 73 degrees here at first pitch. And he wasn't going to hit that one with an oar. The strikeout, and there's one gone. Bases are empty, one man out. Anthony Fastball is looked at for strike two. Very rarely does a pitcher like this leave one in a location like that. That's a pitch right there he'd like to have back. He'd love to swing at that one again. And here's the 3 2 from him. Fouled away. Pitch rides in on him here as this is popped weakly toward the left side of the infield. And he'll squeeze this one for the second out. And that brings up Javi Baez. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. The 1-1 home. Bases are empty here with two men out. Grounded back up the middle. And that'll get through into center field for a base hit. The left fielder, Kyle Into the box, Schwarber. Kyle Schwarber. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Now batting, Ben Gamble. He'll lead things off here in the bottom half of the first. The 1 1. And he fouls this one off. The one two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Next for Milwaukee, Keston Hiura. He'll get to take his first cuts here. On the run, this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Oh, I love that pitch right there. Up and in. Jam sandwich. And indeed, the throw will finish him off as they get the put out at first, and there are two away now. And here's Christian Yelich now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Tough curveball that time, but he's able to make a little contact to keep this at bat going. Hit back up the middle. And that is through into center field, a base hit. Stepping in now, Ryan Braun grounded up the first baseline. Onto the bag with it is Rizzo, and the inning is over. So in now for Chicago, Wilson Contreras. Here now the 2-2. Is looked at off the plate for a ball. The lefty Jason Hayward waits in the on-deck circle. Swing and a miss as he ran the fastball right by him for the first out. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that will bring up the multi-gold glover Jason Hayward. There's a swing and a high deep drive headed for the right field corner. And that nearly broke our scoreless tie. Instead it's a foul ball. Counts even to Hayward. Two balls and two strikes. Swing and a miss as he ran that two-seamer right by him for the second out. The next cub up, That's Ian Happ. Up. Lifetime in this matchup. Not a big sample size. 0 for 1. Hap. 1 and 2 now as that one's fouled off. No score here as we play inning number 2. 
And it's fouled away. Did a good job to shorten up and protect the plate. And he'll have another shot at it here. The one two. Ball two. I don't blame the pitcher one bit for trying to get the chase right there. He's been fouling everything off. He's still got the entire arsenal open to him. So we'll see what pitch he comes with next. Looking to set down the side on strikes. Here it comes. Chopped at the plate. That goes foul, so he stays alive with two strikes. Now another 2-2. Two -two. Hey, this guy's a hard guy to put away. He's fouling off some tough pitches. 2-2 two -two count, and he just seems to keep hanging right in there. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. The second baseman, Jason Dickner. A ball and two strikes to Kipnis. You can bet he wants that one back at the plate right now. That's a pitch you normally see a guy drive if he has the right approach going. Now a fastball awfully close, but he doesn't get the call. It's two and two now. Here's a look over to first. Here now the 2-2. Pulled toward right center field. Garcia has a read on it. And that's the third out. Digging in now for the Brewers, Avisail Garcia, as they'll have five, six, and seven here to start the home half of the second. Can't keep the weight back, and he falls behind one and two. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. A swing and a miss on a ball way out of the zone, and there's one away. Ready now, Orlando Arcia. The 1-1 home. Fly ball out toward left center field. Left fielder is on the move, but he's not going to get this one. It's into the gap. And he's in there easily at second with a one-out double. Into the box now, Omar Narvaez hit down the line at first, but a foul ball. One and two the count now. Open to send him packing, pitch on its way. And here's a changeup in there for a cold third strike, and that's the second out of the inning. Man at second here with two away, and that'll bring Luis Urias to the plate. Too much dip on the sinker, laid off for a ball. Fouled off. Arcia at second with two down. And another foul ball. Trying to nibble here, and he misses to run it full now. Three and two. Some pitchers fall into the trap of getting in on three and two because they don't want to walk the guy. But with the base off. This ball gets down. Let's see if they try to score. Long throw to the plate. The tag, and he is out at the plate. And so much for our first run of the ball game. And now, Kyle Hendricks hit the other way out toward right field. Gamble is there to put it away for route number one. Here's Chris Bryant now looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. The 2 2. Swing and a miss here as he's down on strikes. So it's two up, two down to begin the third. The first baseman, number 40. And that'll bring Anthony Rizzo to the plate. He hopped out in his first trip. Yeah, I don't mind him trying to drive the ball in the air, but he can't collapse the backside, and that's exactly what he did in his last at bat. And we'll have to leave it there as the play is made here to end the inning.
So now the Brewers pitcher Brandon Woodruff as we move on to the bottom of inning number three. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. All even now. Two and two. And the pitch. Ben Gamble waits on deck. 3-2 pitch. And he popped him up. Therefore it is Baez and he's got it for the first out. And that'll bring up Ben Gamble. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Now the 2-1 pitch. Out in front as he rolls over it to second. Kipnis is there, and that's the second out. And that'll bring up Keston Hura. Both for one for him here in this one. Bottom of inning number three. Nothing, nothing our score. And this will be fouled away. Bouncer to the left side, and that finds its way through for a base hit. So the two out hit will bring Christian Yelich in this inning. At the plate, Christian Yelich. And he gets a piece of this one to foul it toward the backstop. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. Just hung in there on that one. Here now the 2-2. Hit on the ground out to short. And that is through in the left field. A base hit. So now to the plate. Ryan Braun. Now here's one hit in the air to the right side. And Kipnis will put this one away, and that ends the inning. New inning set to get underway, and stepping in is the veteran shortstop, Javier Baez. This game is rolling right along as we move into the middle innings with no score. You'd think by now one of these two teams would be able to get some base runners on and get him in, but that hasn't been the case. This guy's been throwing the ball great so far, but it's going to be tested here. Four, five, and six coming up this part of the lineup. The 2-2 two -two one more time. Drilled to the right side. A dive, and he knocks it down. And he'll make it to first easily on what will almost certainly be ruled an infield single. At the plate now, Kyle Schwarber. Now a swing and a ground ball. No runs, two hits, no errors so far for the Cubbies. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. So striding forward now, Wilson Contreras. On a line, that's a base hit in the left field. Into the box, Jason Hayward. And there's a line drive. Base hit to left field. And they'll quickly get it in here to hold that runner at third base. Now the third fielder, Ian Happ. Standing in now, Ian Happ. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. The one two hits the top of the zone. He struck him out looking. So the bases are loaded here. Two men gone. And standing in now, the power hitting second baseman, Jason Kipnis. A ball and two strikes now. Hey, this is a huge pitch right here. It would be demoralizing to watch this inning slip away. Loud contact there, but it's well fouled. Ready with the one two. Now a ball hit in the air and this looks like it'll get him out of it. 
And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Bottom of the inning now, and that'll bring up Abisayu Garcia. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Hops this one up. Kipnis into shallow center. He gets there and makes the play for the first out. Standing in, Orlando Arcia. It was a double for him in his first turn at the plate. Well, he got a good pitch to hit last time up. Looked for it up in the zone and didn't miss it. Those are the pitches you only get maybe once an A-B, maybe once a game, maybe once a week. So he certainly capitalized on it last time. Fouled away. Now another 1-2. And he lays off it to even the count 2-2. Two and two. So you'd love for him to offer at that one, but the execution was flawless. Nice curveball that starts in the zone and breaks just out. Just a great take by the batter. And this will miss down low in the dirt, so he's worked it full now at three and two. It's a fine line from working down in the zone on two and two and bouncing one in there that basically stands no chance of getting swung at. Right there, he basically spiked that one right into the dirt, and now he has to find the zone on a three two pitch. Pitching has the upper hand early as we're scoreless in inning number four. And he misses two and one. Swing and a ball hit softly on the ground. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. All ready to go in the top of the fifth, and the pitcher Kyle Hendricks will be the next to bat. Now the one and one pitch is in there for strike number two. Hit on the ground to third. Reined in. And the fifth inning will start with a ground out. One away. And now back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Stepping forward, Chris Bryant. He went down on strikes last time up. The 2-2. Two -two. And that misses there, so he runs the count full now. Waiting next is Anthony Rizzo. And he fouls this one off. It's going to be back to some serious T work if he can't put that pitch in play right in his wheelhouse. And he misses ball four. Freddie Peralta enters to make an appearance on the mound as he inherits a runner at first with one out in the inning. Anthony Rizzo will be the first to greet him here as he'll stand in with a runner at first and one away. Takes one off the inside corner for ball two. This is pulled into right. Gamble is there to put it away, and the runner will be forced to retreat back to first. Here's Javier Baez. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Javier Baez. A 1 1 home. Swung on and missed for strike number two. This is two and two. And that misses, so it's a full count, three and two. Good running count right here. Three balls, two strikes, two outs, run, run first. He'll be off to the races on this pitch. High in the air out to center field. On the move is Garcia. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Set now for the bottom of the fifth and set to go as the third baseman, Luis Urias. Ground ball sent back up the middle. And a good effort on the dive that time, but this will get by him for a base hit. 
Jed Jerko will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Number five. Yeah. Nobody out, runner on first. Tried to fool him with the changeup, but he won't offer at it. Three and two. Ben Gamel will be next. Rounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. Hard hit ball to second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. To the plate now, Ben Gamble. On the ground for Kipnis. This could be two. There's one. On to Rizzo at first, and they get him both. Ready for another chance? Keston Hiura, who was a strikeout victim his first trip and then collected a base hit his last time around. Ready with the 2-1. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. Team's been struggling on offense. Let your D work for you right here. Pound the zone. And he missed with it there. Ball four. It's a two-out walk with the runner still at third. Two and two. Here it is. Scorched to third. And that'll just sneak past his outstretched arm, a base hit. The runner from third crosses the plate, and they've taken a 1-0 lead. Stepping in now, Ryan Braun. Swinging a ball hit on the ground, but this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Neither guy willing to give in, and the ad battle continue. Looking to keep this a one-run game, the pitch. One run, eight hits, and no errors on the Milwaukee line score so far. A bouncer to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the big inning is avoided as the side is retired. Brent Suter takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 35. Now the Cubs' four hole hitter, Kyle Schwarber. He was sat down on strikes in his last at bat. Sometimes you just got to tip your cap to the guy on the mound. He's getting paid to try and get you out as well. Anytime it gets up there north of seven, eight pitch ABs, sometimes it just comes down to pure execution. Let's see if he makes the adjustment right here. Two and two to the Cubs catcher. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Jason Hayward is on deck. Lofted in the air out toward right center. Gamel is over to his right as he puts this one away. Two down. Here's Jason Hayward now. He's singled in two trips to the plate thus far. Two out, nobody on. Up high, two and one now. A little early, and now it's even at two and two. Now here's the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. Gamble is there, and he'll make the catch to retire the side. Bottom of the sixth inning now, and that'll bring up Abi Sayul Garcia. Here comes the pitch for Garcia. Line drive to left. But he'll hardly need to move out there in left as this is hauled in for the first out. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. One for two with a double on his line thus far. Hit on the ground to third. And there are two away now. 
settling in now. Omar Narvaez. Third trip to the plate for him here. He struck out and grounded out in his first two tries. And now a curveball that's low and in the dirt for a ball. It's two and one. Ball even at two and two. Bases are empty here with two men out. Lifted down the line and left. And that will end up a foul ball. And that's low, so a good eye there as he works the count back full. Too close for comfort, and he did a good job just to make contact. Had to sit back on the changeup, and he did a good job to get the bat on that one. And this is taken low for ball four, and they'll have themselves a two-out base runner here after all. So it's a runner at first with two men out. And stepping into the box will be Luis Urias. And a sinker dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Nearly got the inside, but ruled the ball. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got to count his favor three and one. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Hayward has a read on it. He makes the play, and that'll end the inning. Digging in the switch hitter, Ian Happ. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, Matty, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot, has to put the ball in play. And the throw to first is in time, so the leadoff man is gone here to start inning number seven. Now to the plate, Jason Kipnis. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. Nico Horner will pinch hit here, and he's the potential tying run. Nico Horner. Two out, nobody on. Down low, two balls and a strike. Can't find the zone there, and it's three and one. When you're playing close games like this, base runners mean everything, so he can ill afford to start giving away free passes. Swing here on the fastball, and this will get fouled off to the right side. Hit in the air out to straightaway left. Yelich is under it, and the we inning is over. We join for the traditional seventh inning stretch. Kyle Ryan gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Number 56. Eric Sogard is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. And that one misses badly. It's ball two. Ryan is adjusting to the new normal as MLB now mandates that relievers reach the end of an inning or face three or more batters before being replaced. And for a one-time lefty specialist like this, that's a big change. And it's fouled away. Here's another 2-2. Swing and a miss there as the breaking ball takes care of him for the first out. So the lineup flips over and digging in, Ben Gamble. He's hitless in three at-bats to this point. And a good spot for that pitch is it's chopped foul. Here's the one and two. Hit on the ground to third. And there's out number two. Coming to the plate now, Keston Hiera. He singled earlier, making him one for two to this point. All even at two and two. Here it is. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning.
Corey Knabel has been summoned from the bullpen as he'll do so to start the eighth. Ready to begin the eighth, and that'll give way to the third baseman, Chris Bryant. This guy has been unbelievable. There were billboards outside Wrigley while he was still in AAA, and what does he do when he shows up? Rookie of the year, MVP. I mean, get in line. The one-two. Still a ball and two strikes. He'll try again, one-two. Misses, ball two. So a full count now. Anthony Rizzo will be next. The 3-2 pitch. Fouled off. Another full count pitch home. Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. That one is out of here. This game is tied. Into the box now, Anthony Rizzo. Clearly off with his timing on that one, a swinging strike. Swing and a miss as he couldn't connect on the two-seamer, and that's out number one. So one gone here in the Chicago A, and into bat next, the versatile weapon, Javier Baez. There's the good fastball, and he can't catch up. Three and two. When you get yourself to a 3-1 count and you get a fastball, those are the ones you really want to punish. Couldn't get the bat on it, so we'll see if that comes back to haunt him. Oh, and you can tell he wanted to hold off, but he swings through the inside pitch anyway, and he becomes out number two. Here's the 2-1. Wilson Contreras would be next. Into the corner and slicing foul. He set the three two fouled away. And he lays off ball four. Now the potential go ahead run is on base here. Now time is called and we'll have a pinch runner at first and that'll be a wise decision as he's the potential go ahead run. So it's a runner at first with two men out and Wilson Contreras digs in at the plate and a dive but he's back in. Two out with the possible go ahead run at first. And another throw over keeping particularly close tabs on him. set and the 1-1 one, one. and he struck him out so he's down on strikes for the second time this afternoon Dan Winkler is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Bottom of inning number eight set to go. And coming forward, the veteran outfielder, Christian Yelich. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Hasn't seen a heater yet in this at bat. One might be coming right here. Looked like he got fooled on the speed there. Two and two. And he struck him out. Here's Ryan Braun now. He could really use a knock here. 0 for 3 in the game so far. Ready with the 1-1 pitch. 
Swing and he pops him up. Looks to be playable in foul ground. There to take it is Rizzo, and there are two away now. Digging now in, Avisail Garcia. He Abisail lined Abisail. out in his last trip, so Garcia. looking for better fortunes here. The 2-2. Two -two. Orlando Garcia would be next. Here's the payoff pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. Alex Claudio will be on the mound to start the ninth inning, and his job will be keeping the ball game tied until the bottom half. All set to start the ninth in this one, and that'll bring forth the veteran outfielder, Jason Hayward. The 1-1. One, one. one ball, two strikes, Dale. This is hit the other way out toward left field. Yelich on the move. He gets to it and makes the catch for the first down. In now, Ian Happ. He was a ground out victim last time up. The 1 1. Waves and misses for strike number two. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Sinker, three and two now. Waiting his turn on deck next is Jason Kipnis. Good battle, count remains full. Seventh pitch of the at bat coming up. Liner towards second, but right to the second baseman, and that's the second out. Riding in once again, Jason Kipnis. He was sent packing on strikes in his last trip. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. Making him sweat out there. The seventh pitch coming up. And he lays off. Ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. David Bodie will be called upon here to hit with the game on the line. Sent on the ground out to second. And as it turns out, the two-out walk doesn't come around to haunt him as that ends the inning. Jason Adam enters to do the pitching, and best-case scenario for him is to push this one into extra innings. All set for the bottom of the ninth. And up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. set and the 1-1 one, one pitch swung on and chopped toward the hole and there's one down now at the plate Omar Narvaez he's 0 for 2 thus far in this one one out nobody on and he'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to 2 and 1 now Hit on the ground is short. And very quickly there, they're two gone to start the inning. So digging now in back. now, Luis Urias. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. The set and the two and one. Filed off wide at first, but boy, that had some zip on it. 
the set and the 2 2 hit on the ground out to short Baez has it throw in time and the side is retired. J.P. Fireisen takes the mound as he'll be the first man to pitch here in extra innings. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Chris Bryant is working on a one for three thus far. Yeah, that, that last one wasn't exactly a tape measure shot, but listen, a home run is a home run. I know a lot of pitchers, they call that a wall scraper in his last A.B., but listen, it counts as a home run nonetheless. Loud contact off the bat of Bryant and sent deep to left. Gone! At the plate, Anthony Rizzo. Right side, defense aligned perfectly. Oh, and it eats him up a bit. The bat, number nine. Into the box, Javier Baez. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats and left. A runner at first with no outs here. Good eye to lay off the slider there, and he works it to full three and two here. Hey, that's a nice take by the batter right there, but that's a non-competitive off-speed pitch. Got to do better to at least entice a swing. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Yelich is under it. One down. So a runner at first now with one away. And in to hit next, the speedy presence of Billy Hamilton. He's set. Here comes the 1 1. Bottom part of the zone. A good changeup gets the call. Now a ball lined toward the gap in left center. Yelich will range to his left as he tracks this one down in left center for the second out of the inning. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. Wilson Contreras. Here's a little chopper up the middle. Throw on the second for the force, and the side is retired. You Rowan Wick complete. enters the game here, an inning later than usual, as he'll try to close this one out in the 10th. Standing in, number 26. He readies for his first plate appearance. The 1 1 home. Right side, but it's going to be a foul ball. The 1 2 is taken for ball two. And he lays off, so it's full now, three and two. You could pretty much book it that a fastball's coming. A challenge fastball right here. He cannot allow the nine-hole hitter to get on base with the top of the order room. Heading out towards shallow right. Therefore, it is Hayward now, one away. Now back to the top of the Milwaukee order, digging in Ben Gamble. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Counting out of two balls and a strike to Ben Gamble. He's fallen behind now, three and one. Keston Hiera is on deck. And he fouls this one off. You're lucky if you get one pitch a night right down the middle. Cannot be late on that fastball. And that is swung on and missed, and things are starting to look bleak here for the home nine. There are two away the now. Baseman, You're 
The 1-1. One, one. Takes a pitch for strike number two. Bases are empty here with two men out. The Brewers down to their final strike. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Good job to lay off that one-two breaking ball. Put himself right back in this at bat. Ball three. Three and two now. Looked like he tried to elevate a fastball on that 2-2 pitch there, but kind of overdid it. With a pitch that high, it's pretty easy to lay off if you're the hitter. And don't change the channel yet as extra bases are going to put the tying run in scoring position. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. Well, a fielder, number 22, in now, Christian Yelich. And that's a swinging strike three in the dirt. Contreras goes to get it on to first, and that'll be a bitter pill to swallow for this home crowd as the ball game is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. Pitching and defense game, 2-1 to one, the final score this afternoon. Jason Adam takes home the win. So that just about does it for Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, Heidi Watney, and our entire crew. I'm Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, make your way over to theshownation.com. Here now is our final line score this afternoon. First for the victorious Chicago Cubs. Two runs, seven hits, no errors. They left nine runners on base. For the Brewers, one run on nine hits, no errors. They left eight men on base.